Hello everyone, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm your host Valdeth, and we're playing through the tutorials. Next up is number six, conveyors, connectors, and separate systems. Setting up a good conveyor system is very useful, it can save you a lot of time. Learn how to move items through conveyors and the different ways to have separate systems interact or connect with each other. This is the all general all purpose pipes um, for this game, transferring power, air, items, whatever you need, just depends on what's hooked up. We've seen them used previously before, but we'll really get into it now. Alright, I'm in faction. Alright, so, uh, the cargo container above holds the components necessary to proceed. These are out of your physical reach, but you can access them through conveyors. Oh, amazing. Amazing. That little square there, and then these are the conveyor connected to that conveyor block right here. And this one is going to dispense them. Shoot them down into this guy here. Okay, so press K on the blue control panel on the collector, that's this thing here, the big funnel, and access the inventory tab. Drag the contents of the component storage to the inventory of the connector, which will set up to eject into the collector. So that's the ejector, that's the collector. So since they're all connected in one system, I can select the connector right here. Tell it to collect. And there we go. Boom. And now it's automatically welding. Sweet. And now we can see that uh, Connector, replace items there. Or that's what had already happened. Yeah, because they're already in the collector. Yeah, okay. Uh, this welder will finish building the piston when it is supplied with components. Okay, and it did that. And now we probably want to press the piston. When the piston is built, use the button panel to activate the platform. So, not that piston, that's to pull it back in. We want to sit here and extend it. Ah, we gotta get out first. Turn on the lights and start pushing this platform, right? Oh, I guess it's not completed. Okay, so scratch that. Oh, there. Welder, give me the items. Or maybe I had to place them down here and that would put them in the welder, I don't know. There. That did it. I can hear it. <laughs> there we go, now we're moving. Sit in the seat, sit in the seat. Ah! Alright, cool. So I don't know what was up with that. I figured it would pull them automatically with that other two, but I messed something up. Anyway, we're here. Uranium storage. I need connector okay it's a connector not an ejector you can use connectors to form connections between separate conveyor systems press button 4 to extend the piston when the connectors light up yellow press 1 to lock them together okay so 4 to extend the pistons press T there we go and 1 to lock them once they are together Okay, they're yellow. Now they're green. Locked green. Cool. So now we can pull uranium out. When the connector is locked, access this cargo container and select inventory. Drag the uranium from that storage to my personal inventory. Because now that we can get them. Take from here. Ah, pull it out from there. It came through there. Awesome. Now across this 
asteroid to a disconnected grid and place uranium in here. There we go. Now we can open the door. See? Easy. And run through here. This is cool. We got the, the, the see through paneling. We're gonna make some pretty cool stuff with this game. You can see it now. Alright, conveyor sorters can be used to organize and filter the flow of items through your conveyor systems. Naturally. Uh, access the sorter control panel and set the filter mode entry to whitelist. Okay, we'll do that first. Inventory. Filter mode is up here. We'll set it to what? To whitelist? Filter mode. System inventories. Oh, control panel. That's what I'm missing. Control panel. There we go. Filter mode. There it is. To whitelist. Okay, we want to add items. Then go into the Add New Filters section, click on Ingots, and click the Add button to allow all types of ingots to pass through the sorter. That's uh, something we're definitely going to want to be doing. Control Panel, Whitelist, Add New Filter, Ingots, Add. So all ingots with a star. Okay. That's all types of ingots. That's sort of right there. Access this control panel and select the connector. Set throw out to on, set collect all to on. That's that connector right there. So we'll pull items out of that storage, filter just the ones we want out, and they'll get popped into there. This will make the connector grab items from accessible storage and eject them. But it'll only be ingots, not everything. Control panel. You want to collect, uh, select the connector, not the sorter. And click on throw out. And there we go. And that powered the reactor for this section. Use a seed if you need some energy. I'm at 93%. I think we're fine. Pick up a weld tool and the components. Weld tool. Can I not take all those components? Oh, that's a lot of construction components. Yeah. Okay, so there's extra stuff in there. Obviously. Okay, we got some some stuff here. We gotta do. You need to build conveyor tubes to connect the cargo containers to the conveyor block. Here's the conveyor block. Here we go. Cargo container. Cargo container. I need to make two tubes right there. Okay. You must have steel plate inventory to be able to place the conveyor to blocks, then weld tool to complete the blocks, which pulls the rest of the extra components. Uh, once built, this will allow the welder block ahead to pull from the cargo inventories and enable you to progress further. So, yeah, we want this welder over here connected to this conveyor to pull the items it needs to build this thing to drop down the bridge so that we can be done. Cool. Nice little tutorial. Alright, so press G, add the conveyor tube to your toolbar. You can find it easier by typing it in or click on the conveyor cargo tab. Cargo tab. I'm looking for the tube, small conveyor tube. Cargo frame, small curve frame, ejector, sorter, containers. Oh, regular tube, not the small one. Yeah, that's for a small ship. I do that. Conveyor tube. Oh, big conveyor tube. There we go. Now I can build. Place one there. And I want to place one there. Okay, now we need to get our welder out. Character tools, welder. 
And go to town on these puppies. What do they need? Motors, steel plates, construction. It's pretty much everything. Construction components. Oh, no, wrong thing. K. There we go. Give me construction components. Can I... How do I split a stack? Oh, there we go. Cold and control. That took 10. Okay. Gonna build all these up. Up to there. See, it's already used all the components, so that little bit doesn't matter. On some cases, there will be actually extra components you won't have to use. Need lots of construction components. That's why it gave me so many. Alright, nice and green. Structure components, steel tubes. I need motors. 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 There we go, now I got everything. It's easy. Build it up, build it up, build it up, and boom, bulletproof glass. Alright, now that welder should be going to work. One second over here and press the button. Oh, it's building up the, uh, what is that, power thing? Power reactor? Yeah. Fusion reactor thing. All right. All done. I think that's probably it for this one. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Learning the basics, space engineers. Objective complete. Before we move on to our survival world. Join me next time. Move on. Thank you guys, and I'll see you later.